You probably scroll on YouTube finding and watching these amazing gorilla tag videos with hundreds of thousands of views. And you want to get those kinds of views. But your videos flop because you don't know how to make a good thumbnail. Well, that's exactly why I'm here. I'll break it down so you know exactly what to do to create a 10 out of 10 thumbnail. Before you do anything though, join my Discord server in the description. It'll have all the assets you need to create the perfect thumbnail. Once you join, you should see all of these channels. You want to click onto this one. Once you're here, you want to download this, 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 and this. This image right here is meant for all the textures for the cosmetics. So just right click and click save image. Once you're done downloading, you want to right click onto the cosmetics and then extract all. And for people who haven't downloaded Blender yet, go onto this link in the description, click download, and then download for whatever version you use. Now with all the files all the way, go to your downloads on your computer and double click on the Blender Geode IK Rig 4. It should take you to this, just click on this top thing that looks like a circle, and then it should show the actual thing. And to see what it looks like when it's fully rendered, go onto this other circle thingy, click it, and then it shows it. To make it more realistic though, click onto this Eevee thingy, and then go to Cycles. Makes it a lot laggier, but if you have a good PC, it should be fine. But for now, go back to this other circle so it doesn't lag all the time. You can move around the Blender project with your scroll wheel to see all of that gear. You can change the color of your gorilla by clicking on the actual thing, go into this other circle thing, click on primary color, and then switch it to whatever you want. I'm gonna change it to my color. Eh, close enough. You might also notice this weird purple thingy, but this is the face for our model. Now this is the segment of the video where I'll show you how to change the face. Go back to the material tab, click on face material, and then you should see the set of Gorilla Texture 2 PNG whatever the heck. To change the face, you want to go back to my Discord server, click on any of these faces, and download it. I'm going to download this one just because it's the basic one. Now that you have it downloaded, click on the Gorilla Texture 2 PNG, any of them, go on to image texture, click on this little file thingy, and then find the the image. Now I have it. It looks a lot better now without that purple thingy. And if you don't like the face that you currently have, you can click back on the file and switch to a different one. Now with that finished, we'll learn how to pose the rig. Click onto either this big circle or one of these smaller circles. Click onto object mode, go to pose mode, and now you can start doing whatever. Before you start testing around though, click onto pose options and turn off X axis mirror. If you keep this on, you'll see if you move any of the stuff, it'll copy each other's movement. So that's why you want to keep it off. Now you can actually start testing around with the rig. You can move the head by just using the rotate tool and the hands by using this weird tool that makes it actually move around. But before you start messing around with the rig, you want to go back into object mode and here I'll show you how to add the cosmetics. To actually add the cosmetics, click on the file, hover over import, click on FBX, Go to your downloads, find where the cosmetics are, double click onto that, double click again, and then you should be right here. Say I wanted to add the bow tie to my thumbnail. You would click on badges, search it up, double click on it, and then it should show up. Just hold on the screen arrow and take it out, and here it is. And now I'll show you guys how to add the textures so it doesn't look purple. First, go to the shading tab, click off this camera thingy, then click on the bow tie, scroll in a little bit, and you should be met here. This little diffuse color texture button is where you're going to be adding the texture. If you download the hat last thing in my discord, just click onto the file, click downloads, Go to search and search a patlas, or whatever you named it. Double click onto it, and now it should look like this. In fully rendered mode, it looks pretty good, but I'll show you how to make it look even better. First, actually make the cosmetic look like it's on the gorilla. Now that you're done with that, go into the rendered mode, and you should see that it looks a little too shiny. Come over here to the material tab again, turn up the metallic, turn up the roughness, and turn down all the IQR. Now it should look actually good. Go back to this other circle so it doesn't lag out your whole entire computer. Go back to the layout tab. If you decide to go into pose mode, and move around the body, you'll see that it doesn't come with the body. So you want to go back to object mode, click on this, hold shift, click the rig, go to the pose mode, click on the body if it's a batch, but if it's head cosmetic, click on the face, click control P, click control P, and then click bone. Now, anytime you move it around, it'll follow. And if you want to do with the holdable, do the same process, but just click the hand bone. Now I'll show you guys how to import backgrounds. If you go back into my Discord server, you can see this little file that I put in. It's a bunch of pre-made backgrounds made by Radiant. Go check them out in the description. And they really help with making thumbnails. And if you want to add them, click on File, Append, Downloads, and then search it up. Then you should see it. Double click on it and then Find Collection. Double click on it again. And then I typically use Forest Room, but you can use whatever of these.
If you go into rendered mode, you can see that it looks really good. So now that that's done, you can actually start posing your rig. And now I'm finished. If we go back into the camera, go into rendered mode, you can see that it looks pretty good, but I might want to change the angle of the camera. To do this, go back to the normal mode, click view, navigation, and then go down to walk navigation. You can move around the camera to your liking until you find the perfect thing. And now you can see that it looks literally amazing. To render it, what you first want to do is go to this little thing that looks almost like a toaster, click under denoise, click on start sample, put that up to like 20, go to the actual render sample, put it up to like 100, and then go to render the image by clicking on this and clicking render and now it's rendered You can still see that there's a little bit of particles You can fix that by putting the samples up a lot more I hope this video helped you learn how to make a correct gorilla tag blender thumbnail subscribe if it did and let's try to get this video to a hundred likes